Hello, and we know uh, about Urberg's take on uh, mechanical watchmaking, uh, quite an unconventional way of looking at it and uh, making it evolve in the 21st century. But I think this time they're just pushing indeed this limit a little bit much further. So we are here with Cyrano Devante, who is going to tell us a bit more about this crazy new adventure. Yes, hello. This is the first time we presented the project. It's called AMC. Like the EMC for electromechanical control, we have a new project we are working on since eight years on this project. So this is the biggest project ever for Urwerk. And AMC stands for Atomic Mechanical Control. And Urwerk has done a modern interpretation of the Brugge Sympathique with the, the technology of today and with the possibilities of, of today. The most precise clock available today is an atomic clock. So we work together with Time Standard. He works together with SpectroTime, which is an atomic clock producer. And together with Time Standard, they developed even a higher precision module for atomic clocks. And this is the module we are using in our atomic motor clock. It makes one second variation in 317 years. And specially for this purpose, we developed a mechanical movement, which is capable of receiving the accuracy, which means it's receiving the uh, precision. It can be uh, wind up by the motor clock, it can be adjusted by the motor clock and it, the time will be set by the motor clock, which means the time will be synchronized between the complete 100% mechanical movement by the motor clock, by the atomic motor clock. So I know that we're going to discover the entire package at uh, Baselworld only, so now let's indeed focus more on the, on the movement yes. side. Uh, compared to the, the, the EMC, because it looks a little bit, there's a few things that seems a little bit similar. Uh, can you explain us a bit more about this? Yes, they come out from the same family. Some components we used in the EMC. Mechanical components we also use on this one. We have the same balance wheel, we have the same double barrel, which gives us a power reserve of 80 hours, but we have no electronics at all this time on the mechanical wristwatch. But we developed specially two systems, one the regulating systems, because the once you have the mechanical watch, somewhere you have to have a link between the atomic clock and the mechanical clock, which means you have to know if the time display on the mechanical clock is identical to the atomic clock. And this is done by a mechanical, like Brugge did it in his way, Dominic, the other engineer, he invented the system to check if the two uh, watches are displaying the same time. If this is the case, no regulation, no timing adjustment will be done. If it's not the case, if the watch is running slow, the motor clock, the atomic clock will do a regulation on the slower side. If the watch is running slow, the atomic clock will do a regulation on the faster side, which means you have an atomically regulated mechanical wristwatch. It's really the, the varying difference. When you wear the watch, it will run slightly different than in if I wear the watch, which means it's really your varying difference which will take an into account to do the regulation of the watch, which means if you wear it and put it in the, in the motor clock, the regulation will be slightly different because it's to your own wearing habits that it will run precise at your wrist. If I wear it, the, the motor clock will regulate it to run precise on my wrist. We also have the resetting to zero, which means first, once the regulation is done, we also will do exactly the displaying is exactly the same time on the mechanical watch like on the atomic motor clock, which means we have like a chronograph system integrated. We can set the minute hand and the second hand to zero. At when the motor clock is doing exactly full hour, we will set also the mechanical clock to zero and both watches will display exactly the same time. On this, uh, this one, the cover had, don't has the same function here. The cover is just to show that we come out, out of the same family. Okay. On the EMC, it was to prevent from any uh, disturbant light for the, for the electronical sensor. Here, we don't have any electronics on the basic movement. It's just to have the same family because it comes out of the same, we call them chronometry family. So it's just we have, Martin did some different uh, uh, similarities. Uh, so we have different looks on this watch, which, which, uh, which means the same, same design language like we used on the EMC. Therefore, we also have to cover even on this one, it re don't, doesn't really has the same function like uh, on the EMC. Well, I guess uh, we just can't wait to be at Basel World to discover the entire thing, not only uh, the mother clock, but also the design that is going to house this uh, incredible movement. Well, thank you very much for your time. That was very interesting and uh, inspiring, I have to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.